Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, you joined me on another tech um, video. You may be confused that lately I've been posting car videos, but now you know I have a tech video for you. I'm just gonna be telling you how I built this gaming PC for under six thousand rands and using Facebook Market Parts. I know it doesn't sound believable, sound sketchy, but trust me, I trust Facebook with my life. You know, I mean, I got my girlfriend on Facebook, so trust me when I say I know how to navigate my way around Facebook and finding good things. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, you are gonna need to move carefully when you're on the Facebook marketplace you know it's not um, a place that's full of scammers but you do find those chances when you go to that place um, you are gonna need to have some faith in whoever you're buying from you know try to be very vigilant and judgy um, of the components that you're gonna be buying from Facebook marketplace and yeah trying their best to navigate around it so far I have not faced any issues with anything that I've bought from Facebook marketplace and 99% of this build has everything from Facebook marketplace so let's jump right into it um, one of the first things that I got is this gaming box is this, is this box the the, the 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 case i got this case from take a lot so it's the armageddon entry armageddon limits entry you know i don't want people to be judging a book by its cover so if you're going to be judging a book by its cover at least you know we do have like a very nice cover you know it has this um is it sweat yeah it has the tempered glass it has mounting points for your ssds um, it's big enough to fit most modern GPUs, you know, um, it has space for about five fans. I currently have three in there. It has audio jacks um, up there as well for your aux cables or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, it has cable management. So at the back there, you can remove, you know, um, the cover and nicely hide your cables there or run them through that place and it has some very cool looking um, RGB at the front um, they are controllable using a button on the case itself it's currently wired to the reset button um, and then if you ever want to reset your computer you just go through the menu or whatever um, but you can remove that and wire it yourself so this thing um, the, the case itself costed me around 997 i will check just now i have the the Twitter thread that i made on this build open i'm gonna be using it to reference the prices and whatnot because you know i kind of forgot about some of the things but to start with i did mention that we um, i got this case from tech a lot because you know gotta judge a book by its cover gotta make sure that the cover is good um I mean, if you're gonna judge the book by its cover, you gotta make sure the cover is good. So yeah, I've got this case brand new from Take a Lot. Uh, it costed me seven hundred and seventy nine, and that's honestly not a bad price for what it is. It feels a bit strong. Um, it has some you know nice, some nice RGB lights. The, the glass is tempered glass. Uh, we're gonna remove this plastic later. Uh, that's wrapping it. It has um, you know cool places where you can put your fans um your cooling fans that is so it is a very um worthy gaming case for the price and it's one of the cheapest ones on take a lot and that's what we're going for here a budget build but obviously not compromising quality and then the first thing that i got was a 500 watts um um 80 plus rated um power supply so i got that one for 350 but I paid 340 because I miscalculated the money that I had when I was going there cash and then the guy was just like ah it's okay we're not gonna fast over 10 rents so I gave him 340 thanks to him for that but I did not mean to you know like um intentionally rob him of 10 rents so that's the first thing that I got from the Facebook marketplace and it's holding on well it's powering everything that's in this case so far I have not I have not had any issues whatsoever and then the second thing that I got um, was the motherboard. Now, luckily, the motherboard came with um, a Core i5 7 um, Gen CPU. It also came with 16 gigs of RAM, um, which is like an 8 and an 8 gig um, combined. And that, the guy was selling it for 2,000 rands, and I managed to negotiate him down to 1.8 thousand. 
so that was a very good um that was a true bargain because the processor alone you can find it for 1k just the core i5 7 gen you can find it for 1k so for us to get um, a motherboard the cpu and the rams for 1.8 was a true true bargain and that allowed me to be left with you know a few things um to 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 put to make the computer run and then same night i went to get an ssd the nv me um got that one the 128 gigs one just to run windows um it boots fast like it's it's pretty ridiculous from the laptop that i had um that thing would take minutes to boot up and then you would have to wait for all the icons and whatnot to load on the desktop this one boots up within seconds and yeah so it's 128 gigs and then it costed me 200 because the guy was selling it for three but because we are actually building a budget pc um i managed to negotiate him down to 200 so that's cutting off 100 rands from the original price um and then i bought um a usb to boot the windows in because i did not have that it's very weird why i don't have a usb i don't know but i bought that one um from you know the store straight up so I'm not gonna count that one. I'm not gonna count the USB. I'm not gonna count it. No, it's not part of our build. And then, yeah, we managed to boot after that. And the only thing missing was the more space, more storage space. Obviously, we can't survive with 128 gigs. You can't even install Warzone on that. Or is it Forza? I don't think you can install those games with just that um, much space. So we had to get um, more storage and then we had to get some cooling stuff. And then we obviously had to get a graphics card, sorry. So yeah, the next thing that I moved on onto was the fans. But just to backtrack a little bit, um, keep in mind that this is a seven, a six and seven gen um, supported uh, motherboard. So it only supports six and seven gen CPUs from Intel. I'm not sure if it supports any other from like AMD or whatever. And the downside to that is that Windows 11 does not out of the box support these CPUs um, which is a very weird thing but it's happening you cannot install Windows 11 on this motherboard um, or rather this generation of CPUs but there is a way you can do it you can install them it will run like it should but it's just not supported out of the box by Microsoft so keep that in mind when you're going for this build. Personally, to me, it doesn't matter because, you know, a lot of platforms are still supporting Windows 10 and there's really no much difference with from um, Windows 10 to Windows 11 apart from security things from what forums say. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. But yeah, we moved on to cooling and I got the RGB fans, including a controller for 350 from the guy, mind you, these go for 600 rands on tech a lot and far more um, in other places even on the facebook marketplace there was a guy selling them for around 500 i think so for me to get these at 350 brand new out of the box i unwrapped them myself they're good quality they're still running and they have a controller um this is just the remote and they have a controller up there so i can switch i'm not sure if you can see that but i can change the colors i can switch the colors off um i can decrease the speed of the fans like I, I can do a lot of things from just this remote alone and that's really 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 cool yeah fine so i got those for 350 and then the other thing that we were concerned about was storage so i got a one terabyte um uh, hard drive you know it's a, it's a mechanical hard drive but it has you know some good power um some it has some good rpms on it so I got that one for 250 for a one terabyte hard drive. It's that's not like an offish price. They usually go for that much. Like um, no one is really buying mechanical um, hard drives that much these days. So they do sell for cheap. But this was also like a true bargain. You know, it's still run nicely. It was at 100% health. I'm pretty sure it is even up until today. And it's still yeah, it runs my game properly. I can load. I set a Corsa in around less than 30 seconds, which is, you know, ideal for me 
and you know it's like a benchmark for almost everyone that runs Acero Corsa they do load it in that time um, or similar so yeah the build so far with everything that I've mentioned has costed 3869 rands so the PC runs it has no graphics card it runs it has space it has cooling um, yeah it has all of those things and it has only costed 3800 Rents. Hmm? I am Joseph Marengo. So, yeah, I did mention here that my initial goal was to stay way below 4,000. Obviously, that proved to be unrealistic. Um, but I am grateful that I've, I was able to boot the PC up. I was still able to play Asura Corsa. Um, it just did not have good graphics and it would tear up the screen sometimes. But it would still run without the graphics card, which was a very good thing for me uh, it proved that the setup was working and we only needed to plug in you know the um, the graphics card and then we would have like a solid build so yeah the specs so far as I say it costed so far the costing is 3.8 without the graphics card recently I went and bought the graphics card um, second hand also because you know yeah we're building it second hand and strictly from the Facebook marketplace so everything here is strictly from Facebook marketplace apart from the the case of course which is new from take a lot um, and all in all including the graphics card me being done with the build so far I have spent 5869 rands and possibly some change so this has been a very efficient build um, and pocket friendly build in my opinion I'm able to run games like Asero Corsa at very high frame rates. Um, I think I am on medium to high settings and I'm running um, from around 50 to 100 or 120 max FPS. Um, there's no glitches, it's running well. I can run the high servers, um, the high traffic servers, the online ones um, when I'm doing my own gaming. It's also pretty decent, it's really nice. The details are there. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the build and for 5.8 this is not a really bad build like this is rock solid I have Forza I can also run Forza on really good settings um, I mean on really good FPS as well with some nice detail on the graphics and still runs Modern Warfare I have not launched that game as yet um, yeah but the other thing you know the bonus stuff for here is this gaming wheel this, this is the thrust master um, tmx pro for xbox and pc um, it's mainly built for xbox but it does work on pc as well so it's the same thing as the t150 i believe this tmx version is just made for the xbox and obviously does work on pc as well so it's a very good um, gaming wheel it has four speed force feedback and some have said it's much better than the the G929 or the G29 um, yeah like it's a very good will it comes with three pedals the TPA pedals which are the upgraded ones um, which come with the pro version of this thing so it is a bonus um, the owner was originally selling it for 2.6 and I managed to get it for 2.3 which is not a really bad price because these brand new come for around 6,000 rands. So I've saved a lot of money in all of these builds and yeah. So just gonna take that off. It's really nice how you can just unscrew. No, 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 no. As the tempered glass off as you can see it still has the plastic that it came with I'm gonna remove this shortly but yeah tempered I'm tempering with the tempered glass